supervise around the house. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire up a two-way lighting circuit, which put simply is where one light can be turned on and off by using two separate switches. An example of this would be in a domestic property where a landing light can be operated by the landing light switch or by the light switch in the hallway downstairs. I'll explain exactly how to do the wiring by going through some simple wiring diagrams and I will follow this with a practical demonstration where I physically show you how to fit and wire the two switches and connect them to the ceiling rows. For more specific information on how to wire a ceiling rose, please watch my other video, How to Fit a Ceiling Light, Lighting Circuits Explained. There will be a web link pop up on the screen now, and there will be a web link in the description section below. So here I've drawn a basic diagram of a two-way lighting circuit. In a basic domestic lighting setup, you'll have your consumer unit, you should have a 6 amp MCB or miniature circuit breaker and you'll have your 1.5mm twin and earth cable coming out of the 6 amp MCB and it'll go to the first light in your house. In this light you'll have your ceiling rose arrangement which is this here. So in this example I've called the cable coming into the ceiling rose the loop in. Take your blue wire which is the neutral into the neutral terminal, you take your brown wire which is the live wire and that goes into the loop and you take the bare wire which is the earth, you cover it in some earth sheathing and you place that into the earth terminal over here. Then we have the loop out cable. This is the cable that will go back out of the ceiling rows and into another room into another light fitting. We take the blue wire which is the neutral and we put it into the neutral terminal. We take the brown wire, which is the live, and we take that into the loop terminal. And we put the bare wire, which we cover again with earth sheath, into the earth terminal. For the switch cable, we take the bare wire, we put some sheath over the top, and we place that into the earth terminal. The brown wire, which is the live, we put into the loop terminal. And this then goes round and down into your switch. On a one-way circuit, this is where the brown wire would go into the common, and then you'd use the blue wire as you switch live and you'd place that into the L1. This way this would complete the circuit which when the light was switched on would return the current back up to the line through the blue wire allowing power to go down to your light bulb. For more specific information on how to do one way lighting then please watch my other video how to wire a one way light switch. One way lighting explained. There will be a web link pop up on the screen now and there will be a web link in the description section below. Now in a two way lighting circuit we need to take the brown wire out of the loop, which is exactly the same, down into the switch, but we actually take the brown wire into the L1. Then our blue wire we're going to take down and place into the L2, and the earth wire we just terminate into the metal back box in the wall. Now in order to control the light with two switches, we need to add this additional switch here, and we connect the two together using some three core and earth cable which basically means we've got three sheath wires and we've got one bare wire which we use as the earth wire and this piece of cable would just come back out of the switch up the wall into the ceiling and back down to the other switch wherever you want to position it a common example would be where this switch is in your hallway and when you go to bed at night you want to turn the landing light on using this switch and when you go to bed you use this switch on the landing to turn the landing light off now in the UK, a three core earth cable will come with the bare wire, a black wire, a grey wire and a brown wire. We're going to take the bare wire, cover it with earth sheathing and place it into the earth terminal in the metal back box. We're going to take the black wire and place that into the common. We're going to take the grey wire and we're going to place that into the L2. And we're going to take the brown wire and we're going to place that into the L1. Now this next bit is really simple. We literally copy what we've just done on this end of the cable with this end of the cable. So the earth wire is just terminated into the metal back box. The black wire goes into the common. The grey wire goes into the L2. And the brown wire goes into the L1. So you can see we've literally replicated at this end what we did in this end with the three core and earth cable. Finally remember to apply some brown tape over the black, grey and blue wires to indicate that they are acting as a switch live. The way this system works is that you have a permanent live feed to the L1 here at all times. You also have that permanent feed to the L1 on the other light switch at all times. Now with a two-way switch like this, where you have the L1 and the L2, switching it on and off, you're either taking the current from the common to the L1 or from the common to the L2. 
So for example, if the switch was going from the common to the L2, at this side, the switch would be turned off, as this live feed would be terminated. However, if the switch was going from the common to the L1 on this side, then you'd have a live feed going up to the common, this would go across here to that common, then if this switch was in the position to take it to the L2, the electrical current could carry back on down to L2 and return back up to the light to turn it on. So for example, if the switch here was from the common to the L2, then your live feed here would be cut, and there'd be no live feed going to the common from this switch. However, you've got a live feed to the L1 over here. So in actual fact, if the switch was turned in a position here that the L1 was connected to the common, then this current could go from the L1 to the common, back across to this common, it would then go down to the L2 and return back up to the light and the light would be turned on. If both switches were in the position to go from the common to the L2, there and there, then you would have no live current get into any other terminal on the light switch and that would mean that the light would be off. So in this example, I'm upstairs on the landing. The idea being that this light switch on the landing will be able to turn on and off the landing light and then there'll be another switch which I'll show you in a minute downstairs in the hallway which will also turn on and off the landing light. This is particularly useful if it's night time and you want to turn the light on the landing on from downstairs and then when you go to bed you want to turn it off from upstairs. First thing to note is you can see our two separate cables here and the one cable is the 1.5 twin in earth which is the standard lighting cable and then you can see there we got the 1.5 mil three core in earth and this is the one that allows us to do the two-way wiring and this has the four wires. Now as I explained in the diagram we need a two-way switch that just means that you've got the common, an L1 and an L2 and this allows us to do the two-way wiring. This is only a one gang switch and the gang just refers to the number of physical switches. So the first thing to do is get your earth sheath, cut it to size and place it over your earth wires. If you've got a plastic patches box these don't need to be earthed and I would just bend this over like that and leave it inside the box at a harm's way. This way, if you upgrade to a metal back box in the future or something needs to be earthed, like a metal light switch, then it's available to use. But in this example, inside your metal back box, you should have an earth terminal. So just take both of your earth cables like that. I like to push these to the back of the back box out of the way, and that gives us a little bit more room for us to work on the rest of the wires. And do that up nice and tight. Get your live wires from both cables and we'll put those into the L1 which is by there on this switch. Once you're happy that those are in with no bare cable exposed, tighten up the screw. Now we're going to take the grey wire from the three core and earth cable and the blue wire from the twin and earth cable and we're going to place those into L2. Again, once you're happy that those are in place with no bare wire exposed, tighten the screw. Then finally, you just need to take the single black cable and you need to place that into the common at the top. Again, push that into place and tighten the screw. So there you have it, that's our first switch wired. Black in the common, brown in the L1 and the grey and the blue in the L2. And don't forget on all the colour wires other than brown, so that's the black, the blue and the grey wires, you need to wrap a piece of brown tape around it to indicate that it's acting as a switch live. Now we're going to go downstairs and have a look at the other switch. But just remember, it is only the three core and earth cable that goes from this switch down to the other switch. The two core and earth cable only goes from the ceiling rows down to this light switch, so there'll be less to do downstairs. And when we're downstairs, you'll note that you just match the colour coding exactly the same into the downstairs switch. So when we get down there, we'll see that we just put the grey in the L2, we put the brown in the L1, and we put the black in the common, exactly the same. So we just duplicate what we're doing upstairs on the downstairs switch. Gently push the switch against the wall, ensuring there's no resistance, and then put our screws back in and secure the switch to the wall. So now I'm downstairs in the hallway and I want to use this switch here to operate the upstairs landing light along with the switch we just saw upstairs. Now don't be confused by the other switch, this is just a two gang switch and this other switch will operate the downstairs hallway light. So think of that as a separate switch and we don't need to worry about that today. If you have a look here, 
This is the other end of the three corner earth cable we just saw upstairs. From that switch we then take the three corner earth cable up the wall into the ceiling and back down to the room where your light switch is, which is this one, and you end up with just the one cable with four wires. Taking a look at the back of this switch, like I just mentioned, ignore this one here as this is a totally different two-way circuit. Focusing on this switch here on the left, we need to put the brown wire into the L1. And then tighten up. We need to put the grey wire into the L2. And tighten up. And then we need to put the black wire into the common at the top. and tighten up. If you look inside the little metal back box you can see the earth terminal. Just push your earth cable into the earth terminal the same as on the other switch and tighten that up. So there you have it. It's as simple as using the corresponding colours with the other switch in the circuit. Then same again, locate your screws into position and tighten up. Once you're happy all your wiring is done and you've been back to the consumer unit and turned the power on, press the switch downstairs and the lights come on. Press the switch upstairs and the lights go off. So we now know that the circuit is working. For more DIY, how-to, household tips and product review, please watch my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. I've been Pouse Around the House. Ta-ta! Farewell!